Hey y'all, welcome back to another day of October. Today for me is October 3rd. It's Tuesday. Um, and it's actually one o'clock in the afternoon. I just had one of those mornings where everything just kind of caught up to me and I was exhausted. <laughs> and I kind of had a list of things I wanted to do this morning and I didn't do any of them. So I'm kind of playing catch up now, but I figured if I pick up my camera, it might get me motivated to get a little bit busier. Cause some days, you know, it just hits you and you're like, I'm really tired. <laughs> I'm gonna listen to my body this morning. I'm gonna rest. Even though I was planning on vlogging, I needed to rest. So we're still gonna have a productive evening. I'm planning on making a new recipe for dinner. So like I said in every video, I'll share a new recipe. This one is one I've never tried, but it's my two favorite soups combined into one. It's like a potato cheddar broccoli soup. It's got like veggies in it. It just looks so good. And so I'm excited to try that and I will link it all down below, but we'll make that in a little while. Right now, I need to get some lunch. I ate breakfast like 8.30 and it's like one now, one something, and I'm really hungry. So I need to go make myself something for lunch, but we're just having a slow, easy day over here. So just gonna let you guys join me. Hopefully you feel like you're hanging out with a friend. I feel like I'm hanging out with my friends when I pick up my camera talking to y'all. So I've got the laundry going. Same old, same old. Got a few dishes in the sink. I need to put those in the dishwasher because it is not full. And we'll run that tonight. But I gotta find something, something for lunch right now. We're also having like a heat wave over here. It's in the 80s this week. All week. It's really crazy. If I had planned better and thought about it, I could have used this week where it's nice outside to paint the awning that Mary made out there, but I wasn't even thinking about that. So it'll get done eventually, but I think that after this week, they act like it's gonna turn cold and like our warmer days are, are kind of done, but that's okay. It's October, so. So here's a quick little easy lunch idea. I just took um, an apple and sliced it up and I used a little icing tip to punch out the middle and I put peanut butter, granola, and mini M&Ms and you could also use, I mean, mini chocolate chips but you could also use mini M&Ms and it's pretty healthy and so filling and delicious. I washed these and they said spot clean only so they don't look real great but I really wanted to wash them so we're gonna see what they look like when I put them back on my pillows. They're, I hung them to dry and then I threw them in the dryer for like 20 minutes at the end of the you know cycle to see if I could get some of the wrinkles out. It didn't work but we'll see what they look like.
So they did really good. They look really good. I got these at TJ Maxx. It was $30 for the set, so it was pretty pricey, but I loved the, you know, check pattern and the fact that I could wash them. So I, I never read the washing directions, <laughs> so you're actually supposed to only spot clean, but I put them in the washer and they turned out fine. But I'm going to get the hair off my couch. I know like when I do this, you can't see close up, but you see, especially like under the pillows, all that hair, that's all from Belle. She sheds, not terribly, but I just have to stay on top of it. So that's why I use my little handy tool. This is linked in, there is one linked in my description box from Amazon. I love this thing. I've been feeding Claire this Science Diet 11 Plus. She likes it, but she can't eat hard food a lot. Um, soft food is way easier for her, so I just give her a few at a time, and she does. It takes her a little while to eat it, but she does. They're small, so she can she can eat them, but just barely. She's had like dental surgery. She's had teeth pulled. She just has some issues, so she does the best she can. <laughs> so I'm gonna go pick up Jackson, but I. I'm so behind on comments. I'm so behind. Posted a video yes last night, and because my Vlogtober videos are at 6 p.m. whenever I do post, so I haven't had a chance to look at the comments, and I um, was just like skimming, skimming. But someone made a comment that these would look a lot better if I took the stickers off, and then a couple of you in the comments came to my defense, and it was so sweet, and I appreciate you always when I see people defending me in the comments. It's just so very sweet of you, um, but they were right they would look a lot better if i took them off i didn't ever even realize but there was like stickers right here and right here took them off much better um so yeah that was a that was a good uh idea but anyways i'm gonna go get jackson now my battery is dying but all the fur babies are super snuggly yeah i'll be right back all right it is 6 30. my sister and her husband and her son have been visiting from the bahamas for a few days and they Stopped over and for like a couple hours, so I'm like running behind, but it was wonderful to sit and visit. But I've got to make dinner. I pulled out like all the ingredients. It's a ton of ingredients, but it's pro potato, broccoli, cheese soup. I will link the recipe down below, but I'm going to get some of these vegetables chopped up and things prepared so that it's going to be easier when I start, and then I'll share it with you. of this soup recipe is to saute these vegetables in, in some butter and then I'm gonna add garlic and then only for a couple minutes, like three to four minutes, then I'm gonna add some chicken broth, 
salt, pepper, and thyme, and some potatoes. And we're gonna let that simmer for like 15 minutes and then we'll add the rest of the ingredients. So I got all these chopped and prepared. I am melting some butter in my pan. We're gonna saute all that together. So while that's cooking, I'm going to make a roux over here with some flour and butter and then I'm going to add three cups of milk and I think one cup of heavy cream. Let's see, no, half cup heavy cream, three cups of milk and then once that's thickened we're going to pour that into this and let it all cook together. But this has to cook for 15 minutes. So this is thickening up and after the milk has thickened up a little bit I'm going to add heavy cream to this and I'm going to set this aside until this is done. So I'm going to add broccoli. It said fresh broccoli but I just have frozen so I cooked it in the microwave so I don't need to really like cook this in there. So I will add this and then I'll add in the milk mixture and then once that's cooked a little bit we'll add in some cheddar cheese and some parmesan and just like let that melt. Here's my Chloe. Coco. You come to say hi? My sweet Chloe. Just come out to see what I'm doing? Did you just come to say hi? It's like 7, 715 and Dancing with the Stars comes on tonight. If you know, you know. We used to watch Dancing with the Stars faithfully every Monday night, Madison and I for years but it's on Tuesday nights now and we haven't watched it in the last couple seasons so I'm excited that it's back on and I haven't quite invested in too much of it yet it's only been this is only the second episode so you know it takes a few episodes for you to like get into it and see who you like and who you want to stay but we're team charity definitely team charity from the bachelor she's our favorite so I'll, hopefully I will get all this done so that I can sit down with my soup and watch Dancing with the Stars. It's my way to de-stress. I don't watch very many TV shows and I don't watch Netflix or anything hardly. So Dancing with the Stars is one that I love. All right, these vegetables are done. We're gonna add the milk and the cheese. This is so hot. is the coloring is so different on the camera it looks more blue or more gray but the soup is it looks amazing I cannot wait to have some of this my rolls should be ready just about this is a lot of work it was definitely anytime I make homemade broccoli cheese soup though or potato soup it's a lot of work This soup is delicious. So, so, so good. Um, it was a lot of steps, a lot of prep, but anytime you want to make something, a soup that's homemade, it's going to be like that. But I love it with the potatoes. Very good. Marion is not a huge fan of potato soup, but he liked it. He said it just needs less potatoes. <laughs> he was kidding. Kidding. Mm -hmm. Jackson won't eat broccoli cheese soup or potato soup, so he's already eaten. But I got some Sister Schubert rolls. 20 minutes till my show starts. My phone is, I mean, my camera keeps messing up. It keeps telling me memory card error. I'll like record this whole two minute section and then my camera just cuts off. So I think I need a new card for it, but hopefully this will not cut off. The soup was delicious. We have a big old bowl of it right here. I'm letting it cool before I put it up. 
but I don't have to cook dinner tomorrow night. We can have leftovers. Got the kitchen cleaned up right in time. It's 8-11, so Dancing with the Stars just started. There's a commercial, but I'm gonna go sit down and watch that and uh, say goodnight, but before I do, I wanted to do a, a sh channel shout out. I wrote down a bunch of them that I thought I might share, so I just randomly picked them, pick from the list. So tonight I'm gonna share with you Katie's channel. She's my sweet niece. Her channel is called Life with the Love Days, and Katie, she's a mama and a wife. Her husband is a pastor. They live in New England, and she recently lost her mom to cancer. My sister-in-law, she is the daughter of my husband's brother and his wife, and um, she, just watching her go through losing her mom and how strong her faith is, she's just an amazing woman and such a sweetheart, and she does a lot of grocery hauls and like try-on hauls, different things. So if you like that kind of thing, go check her channel out. Tell her I sent you. Um, she's You'll love her. I know you will. She's such a sweetheart. So live with the love days. Check her out. But thank you for coming back for another day of October. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Try that soup. It's delicious. It is soup season. So it's going to go on my list. I guess I would say it was kind of just like a different version of broccoli cheese soup with potatoes in it. So... But I liked it with potatoes and I if I had some bacon to put on top that would have been really good but I didn't want to cook bacon I thought of it at the very end um, but it was so good very very good very smooth which I like when I make broccoli cheese soup sometimes it's smooth sometimes it's not this one was very smooth so I definitely give it a two thumbs up and if you have a broccoli cheese soup recipe that you like add potatoes to it it's just that much better I love potatoes so anyway give this video a thumbs up if you liked it I love you guys I appreciate you and I'll see you in the next one bye, -bye.